Hey, welcome to another show. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about number bonds. I'm going to be talking how they work and how you can use them in the classroom. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today in the show, we're talking about number bonds. Hello, kitty. This cat is always interested in our math projects that we're doing. A number bond is a relationship between a total and its parts. Let me explain here. Here you usually will have like a big circle and then you have a line down to two circles like this. And you might have a number in the middle, which would be 10. And on some homeworks, then they'll have a number here, like four. And so you have to have a relationship between the total here. This is the total and the parts. So you can see where you're gonna to have to have four plus some number equals 10 and that would be six. So when you're doing, uh, if you're helping with your child's homework, um, you're gonna have something like this on your paper and they might have one of the numbers uh, missing. They also might have a number that looks like this. Three and a six. And then you have to add these two numbers and then this would be the total would be nine. So this is number relationship. So if you have this problem on your homework and the total or the whole is 10 and then you're missing a part, one of the parts is four, one way you can use is you could use one of these things right here. So one way is you could take the beads here. So you have, you'll have 10 beads right here. And so you'll take away four, one, two, three, four, move those to the side and then you can count what is left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is one way to find the answer. Another way is you could always use your fingers. So you have 10 fingers. So you would take away four and you would count five, six. That's another way. You can also use manipulatives. So there's lots of different ways to find the answer. So this is a great way to teach fact families or the relationship between numbers. So for teachers, I have a really neat idea and I came up with this. So you can see right here, this is your normal number bond right here. And you can put this in any direction. You can have it this way or that way. So if I have a number like this, six, you, would, you can put two and four right here. So here I made a little snowman. So that's kind of an, a neat um, idea. So you could put four and two and two. Here I have an alien. So your total or your whole number would go right here. And then the parts would go over here. And I got this cool robot. So you could have seven right there and they could be put four and three. Got a cool truck right here. So here could be the total number and then your parts would be here. So these are really cool different ideas that I came up with. One idea is to have the kids come up with their own uh, number bond pattern and then they can fill in the numbers. So um, just kind of a great creative way to inspire our kids to, you know, want to do these number bonds. So you can see I have a spaceship right there. You can have an eight here and a four here and a four here this blob. I have these spiders right over here and a pair of birds. Another cool idea is for number bonds is to have the children take some dice and they roll the dice down like this and then they put the numbers down here for the parts and then they have to write the whole number. So these are some cool ideas that you can use for number bonds. If you got some ideas, hey, put them down in the comments down below. Make sure you check out my other math videos. I got a lot of math videos on time, on graphing, language arts, and some drawing videos also. And like always, have a fun day. Bye-bye.